Do you want copious amount of moss but don't want to manually farm it? To automate moss farming, we need to build a machine that bone meals moss, destroys it, replaces the converted block, and collects the items in that order. Bone mealing moss is easily done with a simple dispenser, right? Well, yes, but there's a catch. You can only bone meal moss if there's an air block above it. So we need to add a piston that is extended when the dispenser is not powered. We can do this with a simple redstone torch. Next, we need to destroy the newly created moss. For this, we can use pistons because when moss is pushed by a piston, it gets destroyed. We can actually combine this step and replace the converted moss block with a stone generator. Stone generators work by having lava fall onto water, which creates stone. So if we find a way to push the created stone block out of the way, we can create a self-repairing floor of stone. Luckily for us, we can waterlog pistons, protecting the water source while being able to push the stone away, breaking the converted moss blocks. Let's combine everything we've gone over so far. Here I have two stone generators and the bone meal dispenser connected to a redstone clock. Now I'm going to let this run for a bit and we're going to see an issue arise. After running this for about 30 seconds, we can see that the moss carpet does not get destroyed when the block below it gets pushed. So we need a way of destroying this carpet. One way is by using flowing water to destroy the moss carpet, but moss will not grow if it's covered by water. So we are going to need to make a toggle to turn the water on and off. Dispensers naturally provide this toggle ability, so if we hook up some water dispensers with a slight delay, we can have the water destroy all of the moss extras and also send them down into a funnel. One issue with this is that the bone meal dispenser is going to trigger and consume a bone meal even if the water is blocking the moss growth. The newly added copper bulb allows us to easily make this trigger every other cycle, just make sure that the dispenser is triggering on the deployment of the water. Now one of the last things we need to do is add an item collection system. For this farm, it is best to use an item funnel right below the area of moss due to the amount of items this farm produces. Just make sure to add areas for the items above the moss to fall down into the funnel to also be collected. And just like that, you have successfully created a basic moss farm. You just have to manually put the bone meal into the bone meal dispenser. But if you want to take this farm a step further, you can have it self-fill with bone meal it creates itself. To do this, have some of the moss created funnel into a composter via hoppers and then feed that bone meal back into the bone meal dispenser. In my design, I am using a glass elevator because it doesn't have any extra redstone to get in the way. My final design looks like this when it is in full operation. Thanks for watching, I would love to hear what things you guys discovered while designing your own moss farms.